Warning, this video contains strong language from the start that some viewers may find offensive. It's certainly not suitable for children. You have been warned. What the f does that mean? Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to look into one of the English language's most versatile, popular, and offensive words. Fuck. <gasps> what is the meaning of fuck? Well, it depends on the context. Fuck is omnipresent in English-speaking countries. You'll hear it every fucking where for every fucking situation. Fuck me, that's great fucking news. <sighs> oh, fuck me, I can't fucking believe it. <gasps> oh, fuck me, you scared the fucking life out of me. <sighs> fuck me. Will he stop fucking talking already? Yeah. You get the idea. So what the fuck makes this word so special? One of the most interesting things about the word fuck is that it's so versatile. You can use it as a verb, usually meaning to have sex. Helen and Paul fucked last night at the party. An adjective. Oh, that party was fucked. A up. noun. I don't give a fuck that I wasn't invited to the party. An adverb. That party was fucking awesome. A phrasal verb. Well, I think I saw Helen and Paul fucking around last night at the party. An imperative. Fuck you, Helen's my girlfriend. Compound words. Motherfucker. Fuckhead. Fuckface. And you could put it in the middle of a word to add emphasis. Last night's party was abso-fucking-lutely mental. Basically, you can use fuck for fucking everything. Fuck yeah. Here's an example of how versatile fuck can be. Fuck. The fucking fuckface abso fucking lutely fucked over that stupid fucker from the party. So, we have fuck, an interjection. Fucking, an adjective. Fuckface, a compound noun. Fucked over, a phrasal verb, fucker, noun, and abso fucking lutely, an expletive in fixation. Who do we have to thank for our favourite bad word? A popular story about the origin of the word fuck is that it came from a time when sex was only permitted if the king gave explicit permission. The lucky lovers who were given the green light would put a sign up on the door which read Fornication under consent of King. F-U-C-K. It's a great story, but it's not a true one. When we look back in history, it's actually quite difficult to find early uses of the word fuck, as it was probably considered too taboo to be written down. The Oxford Dictionary claimed that it wasn't widely used until as late as the 16th century. Its origin is most likely Germanic and probably derived from a similar word which had the meaning to strike. Historian Paul Booth made the headlines in 2015 when he supposedly discovered the first use of the word fuck with a sexual connotation. <coughs> In documents dated between 1310 and 1311, the name Roger Fucky by the Navely appears seven fucking times. Booth argues that the surname Fucky by the Navely was most likely a nickname, meaning someone who is so stupid that they try to have sex with the belly button. Oh. Although its early usage is disputed, there is no fucking doubt about its popularity today. In fact, a university in Ohio found in 2014 that fuck accounted for 34.7% of all swear words used on Twitter, with shit and ass trailing behind at a measly 15% and 14% respectively. Despite its popular use, just remember that it's usually not the appropriate time to use this unique, offensive, but oddly beautiful four-letter word. Now, if you would like to become even more familiar with the many uses of the word fuck, 
then you can download What the Fuck Does That Mean? An Essential Guide So You Don't Fuck Up. <laughs> Plus a fuck ton of other useful English language PDFs, over a hundred in total. You can get them all for a bargain price, just click on the link below. Now I hope you enjoyed today's video, I'll see you next time.